Good morning and welcome back, guys, to Good Morning to Bagel. And we're going to continue the conversation here as we talk a bit about fishermen in Scarborough. And to have this conversation with me, I have Mr. Ben Israel that's going to that's here with me this morning. Yes. All right. So tell us a bit about the organization. And this is the first time that fisherman is happening in Scarborough? Yes, it is the first time fisherman happening in Scarborough. No, um... Um, me at REAP General Services, along with STEM Center, um, we decided to do something to kind of uh, boost the economical flow in Scarborough. So we were looking at various events that we could have uh, get involved in or could have done in Scarborough that could have uh, attract, you know, a crowd of people like who came to Scarborough for the Independence Day. So we came up with um, this initiative to have a fisherman festival in Scarborough, because we're not calling it anything like a fete or anything like that. It's a festival. Right, but this festival is being held by RIUP. Yes. Right, which is um, the Raphael Imperial Upliftment. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that organization if people are not very familiar with it. Well, that organization started in, like, in 2015, and we would have started up as Reup Entertainment. Right. We had a um, place up at um, PSA Compound. We used to have like um, table tennis, draft, um, dominoes, all fours. We had pool table. We had um, small wool competition. So after leaving up there, we came to Scarborough, where we had a mini mart, and was still pursuing other businesses like construction because I'm a welder by trade. So we got registered and was pursuing trade, construction, and other things. So um, that's how we up came about. And that's how we end up a part of this, uh, this festival. Right. And so tell us about, well, it was a family-focused event. Family-focused event, yeah. Right. And where exactly in Scarborough was it set up? And do you think that the event was a success? Yeah. It was set up along the Milford Road, where they call the um, Stage in the Sea. Yeah. And we think that there would have been appropriate location to host the event. And we think that the event was a success based on the response from the people who responded to us like the business community because our goal was to really allow the business community to benefit from this event here. And I think we had achieved our goals. Because after doing the postmortem and going through the community of Scarborough and the businesses and asking them what they think of it, they say, yeah, man, we had to do this again. So we have the small business community on board, which I came here this morning to give gratitude to. So I don't want us to overstep it too much, but I would like to really give my thanks and gratitude to the people and them who were surrounding me and who afford to make the event a success. It wasn't me alone. STEM Center played a very inaugural and very important role in this. Also, Mr. Terence Phillips, my business partner, along with others who were playing their, their part in this year. So I would like to give them that thanks and gratitude here this morning also. All right, so are we going to see this being an annual event, the Scarborough Fisherman Fest? Definitely to be an annual event, you know, and it will be an annual festival whereby we want Scarborough to be involved. You know, even though we have a small team right now, we would like our team to grow. So the offer for people to come and come on board is there. And definitely to be annual, and as I say, we want the whole of Scarborough. We don't want it to be confined to where the stage in the seas. The idea is to have Scarborough, because we lost the kind of what it looked like, we lost other things that bringing a massive crowd into Scarborough that having the business feasting or festering offer. Because I see how it happens. I do business in Scarborough. I want the crowd or the people or the tourists comes. Money does make. You understand? Know so we right. come up with something that we think that could bring people and we don't want just our business or us as the organizers to benefit from it. Because the day before the festival, or a couple of days before, I went to every business people along the boulevard, I call it, along the Milford Road. All the bars, everybody tell them what's this coming, open up, still open. Even the people in the um, clothing store, even the people who sell in bubbles and pies, I went to them and said, What's going on? You know, you know what happening? They said, No, there's a festival coming, and I think it'll be beneficial for you to stay open. Okay, so I think by the feedback from all of these stakeholders, giving me that assurance that, you know, next year it'll be bigger and better, I will deem it as a success. Right, and what was it the turnout like from Tobagonians or 
um, was it really, did you see that it was patronized mostly by tourists or locals? It was a, it was a mixture. You know, there were some curiosity and there were some, um, what do you want to call excitement? But some of the curiosity turned into excitement because they saw what the event was about. Phone called me up and thought, hey, here what's going on? Come down and describe what this was going on. As far as to be going on this concern here, we had the support from the local Scarborough people, from the wider part of Scarborough because it's a fishing tournament, it's a boat racing tournament, so it attracted villagers who do their local boating and fishing to come to the event. And the um, video game even attracted a number of young people who also came to the event from various parts of Tobago. So um, in terms of visitors and local, I think it was well attended by both, and it had potential to even have a much better attendance next year. All right, well, we want to thank you and your organization for putting on this event and seeing the importance of doing what it takes to really reinvigorate mm -hmm. Scarborough and to have more things happening yeah. in the area, especially to support the business community. And now, as we wrap up, tell me what can we look forward to next year? How are you guys planning to make it even bigger and better? Um, we are getting assistance from a lot of stakeholders, um, people from the community of Scarborough and from Tobago, and they are even trying to add more games and fun to the tournament. Um, someone mentioned let us do cycling. Someone mentioned let us do something more for the kids because the kids were a bit not left out. They had the bouncy castle and the little merry-go-round, but um, something like an educational game, maybe Scrabble or something that could, you know, foster and help the youth, you know, to have right. a better greater engagement. Learning, so would that happen you know? on the Esplanade while everything else is happening along um, the... Because we intend for the event to be massive and spread out, you know, things will happen almost Different anywhere places. next Understood. year, you know. But I would still like to have to give thanks to the sponsors and uh, not to people and them who actually, you know, right. gave me that support during this ordeal. You know, I would like to thank my staff um, from Rio, that's Terence Phillips, um, um, Kimoy Dennis, um, Keisha Phillips, also Keegan McCool, Mr. Berkeley, Ellen Berkeley, Sean Nera from STEM Center. They did all the logistics and all the event managing and planning, and that's how they ran pretty well, and they need the credit for that also. Um, I will go straight into the people and them who were responsible for sponsoring the event. You know, I will go with REAP General Services. We manhandled the situation along with um, STEM Center. Um, Viewport, they were, they were also our sponsors, Claxton Bay Hardware, G and G Sports, that's in the um, Port Mall here, Saga Car Rental, he sponsored us also at Jimmy Holiday Resort. We have Wendy's, Beverly Food Restaurant, Mrs. Alfred Burgers and Hot Dog, Mrs. Monica Food Delight. We have Boy George Clothing, that is opposite the Port Mall there. He sponsored us also at Joe Pole. We have Cost Cutters, Highmore. We have Poya, Tobago United Cooperative. After played a strategic role also in assisting us in making this event here a success. And I must say, Ms. Natisha Pantin. I have to give her a lot of credit to. Um, a call was um, went Who out to her. Secretary for the division. Secretary for division of Fisheries. Yeah, Miss Pantin, thank you very much again. And well, thank you, thank you a lot on the phone. I try to thank you a lot, but I really appreciate your support and what you did for us for this event to be a success also. Mr. Trevor James also, we thank him. And also Miss um, Tashia Morris. Morris from Tourism. Yeah, from Tourism. We thank them also for the assistance. Um, Charles Watch Repair, Uptown Delights. Marketing, um, Mongrace, Free Depot, Pumpkin Studio, and Sherry's Insurance. And we, from the management staff of this organization, would like to thank the whole of Tobago, the whole of Scarborough, the police, the fire. I mean, everybody who made this event here what it became, we really would like to thank you. And we wish to have you all, all on board, and even more people next year, next because year. we need the professional next assistance next year going forward. To improve the festival. Improve the festival. All right, well, thank you so much for taking well, the time out to come much. and discuss with us and give us a synopsis on the success of the first ever um, 
Scarborough fisherman, yeah. right? And we look forward to seeing it even be, be um, growing and becoming even bigger and better. Trust and me. And possibly partnering with a number of other fisherman festivals. Trust me. Just to ensure that to be continues to put the energy. The international calls already coming in, the calls and booking flights to come next year already start. So this year have propelled a tourism oriented kind of a thing. So, you know, Excellent. the calls are coming in. We're coming next year. We're coming next All year. Right. So, you know, people have to get ready. The flights, um, Caribbean Island has to get their act together. The Scarborough Port, I mean, we have to really get our acts together because we are aiming to bring out a lot of entertainment in Scarborough. This is not the only one, no. And the people who are on board, the small business community, I thank you again, I thank you. I'll be coming back to you guys to have some type of dialogue in going forward for the other festival. Because we have October Carnival coming up. There was no kiddies carnival in Scarborough last year. We would like to have a kiddies carnival in Scarborough this year, All in right. this October Carnival. Excellent. So we have some projects. We're looking to deal with and, you know, we want Scarborough we're all involved. Well, we look forward to seeing that. Guys, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back right after this. Mm -hmm.